Well, if Black Friday is any indication, this holiday shopping season is on target to beat last year's sales by 5% and could be the strongest in more than five years. Americans rose before dawn to look for bargains. Shopping malls from coast to coast were humming with activity all day. Analysts predict about half of all Americans will shop this weekend. Omar Villafranca begins our coverage. Retailers are seeing green as Black Friday shoppers across the country snatch up big ticket items for a little bit of cash. We came for a 43 inch TV that's like $130. But for shoppers like Sally and Larry Davis of McKinney, Texas, the price is really good. Mm -hmm. They stuffed their carts with kids clothes and still had money left in their wallets. The dresses that we bought for her, they were 80 bucks and we got some for seven, 12. The National Retail Federation says the average consumer will spend more than $1,000 this holiday season, slightly up from last year. Like Gracie Greggins already started her shopping in Dallas. Shopping. Do you budget for this? Do you save and know how much you can spend? I probably should, more than I do. More than 164 million people are expected to shop in America's malls or online this weekend. Retailers are expecting sales to reach up to $720 billion this holiday season. Websites were also busy today. A rush of online clicks briefly crashed the websites of Lowe's and J. Crew. That left some Black Friday shoppers seeing red and venting their frustrations online. A few problems also played out in brick and mortar stores. At this Georgia Walmart, two women pushed over pots and pans and shoppers at an Alabama mall were evacuated when a gunman shot and injured a 12-year-old girl before he was killed by police. Online shoppers spent $643 million by 10 a.m. this morning. That's up 28% from last year. One of the big reasons for that jump? People were shopping on their phones. JB? Omar Villafranca in Dallas, thank you so much.